So within D&D, we have a lot of hand-related spells. We have... Right? Right. Tell me uh, about know, for them. Not just Mage Hand, which is like the stock uh, right. cantrip that almost every wizard knows, which you can use to open doors and lift things off of tables, but even, even mightier hand-shaped magic, with the most famous being Bigby's Hand. Oh, wow. Uh, which comes to us courtesy of the great wizard Bigby from the world of Greyhawk, but now that spell is found throughout the D&D multiverse. Very, very handy, customizable, no pun intended, right. customizable spell where you can use this magical hand of force to grab things, punch things, push things, right. and, and whatnot. Um, hugely popular in D&D. And uh, I've noticed in some games, kind of customizable. Like, do you want it to be sort of a big Bugs Bunny hand with, you know, big inflated fingers? Or do you want it to be sort of like a skeletal hand? Right. You know, you can kind of decide for yourself, what does your hand look like? Yeah, uh, that's the fun thing about flavoring. And it is kind of, it's kind of terrifying seeing just a giant hand appear out of nowhere. Right? Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like an eight-foot-tall hand um, made of magical force. It is also a good way to get players to understand if you're playing D&D for the first time, like, kind of like, Instead of just saying telekinesis, which is also a spell, but you, you kind of can understand, you can grasp it, yes. if you will. And so, it's a lot easier to visualize in art than telekinesis. You can actually show the spectral hand doing something right. with the wizard in the background sort of guiding it. But we have another really f uh, fun and handy spell that is hand-related. We have uh, Earthen Grasp. That's right, yes. Um, first created by the wizard Maximilian, who was an FR wizard, a Forgotten Realms wizard. Um, earthen Grasp basically allows you to create a hand out of the ground. And so whatever the ground is made of, whether it's you know, uh, dirt and moss or grave dirt or stones and cobbles or whatever, this hand just sort of rises up and then it becomes this controllable appendage that you can kind of move around and do things. And it's meant to actually grab hold of creatures That's, and kind of root them to the spot. There are other hand spells. Chill touch in a way. Yes. You see it kind of a... Yes, chill touch manifests as sort of this ghostly phantom hand that delivers a chilling, a literally sort of necrotizing chilling touch. Right. Which, yeah. you know, if you want to get pedantic about things, you know, it, it's, not, it's not cold damage. It's, right. It's necrotic damage. Yes. It's the chill of the grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all the hand spells. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there are others. Yeah, I'm um, sure we're missing a few, but those are the most handy spells in d, &D. Yes, yes, uh, certainly among them. And um, the, the, the foot spell fanatics are really upset about that. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't have the foot spells covered. This is the worst video. <laughs> <laughs>